Yo, 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 you two, what it do? Hydrix69, aka your mom's favorite mobile boy, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to grow a Fortnite mobile YouTube channel and how to create one if you haven't started already. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to enter our V-Buck giveaway. Once we hit 2,500 subscribers, which won't be long from now, I'll be giving away V-Bucks back to one of you guys. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you guys are going to buy any of the new Halloween skins or Ghoul Trooper, make sure you guys use my code in the item shop. It's my username, Hydric69. Shout out to you guys that are already using it. I'll put it down below in the comments so you guys know how it's spelled. If you guys are going to start a Fortnite YouTube channel, one thing that I'd highly recommend that's worked for us, I think, really well and is the reason we've grown so quick is daily uploads. I think it helps people when you have a consistent upload schedule and they know every day there's going to be a video. And we typically post from 6 to 7 o'clock at night. But at least five videos a week, I'd say, is a good starting point. And it's really hard to get into. When we started, we didn't do daily uploads. We just tried to put out as many videos as we could. But doing the daily uploads, we've definitely seen the best improvement in our growth as a channel, both in views, watch time, and subscribers. And it's just going to help you guys out a lot if you're trying to grow your channel, doing the daily uploads with tips and tricks, tutorials, um, anything like that. I try and do videos that I'd like to see or learn about if I didn't know about them, because usually that's the best way to find um, videos that are going to get people wanting to watch them and recommended, like stuff like bot lobbies, the easiest server, stuff like that, or just videos people want to watch and stuff I wanted to know. So d making videos about stuff you want to know and uploading at least five times a week, I'd say, is a really good starting point. Another really big tip that we've found and been using a lot more lately is live streaming. At first when we started the channel, we didn't use it too much, but now we've been doing it a ton. And if you guys are on mobile, the best way to live stream is using the app Omelette Arcade. It's super easy. And like, this isn't even an advertisement. It kind of sounds like it is. Um, maybe one day we'd get sponsored, but using Omelette Arcade is super easy to stream on any mobile device. I think it works on both Android and Apple. I know I use Apple iPad, um, but it's super easy. It doesn't lag out at all. And it's a really good way without spending hundreds of dollars on like a laptop or any of these accessories that the big streamers have to kind of grow your channel if it's small, like we are. Um, just using a free app has been working fine. Doing giveaways is another big way to grow. Um, people like to get V-Bucks and obviously everybody likes free stuff. So just enticing people with stuff like V-Buck giveaways is another way to keep people loyal and stick around to the channel in hopes of winning some free stuff. Creating good thumbnails is going to be really important. Something we didn't really focus on at first, but now we've tried to get better at it and see which videos do good and create similar thumbnails. But using the app Adobe Photoshop is the one I use. It's another free app that is really easy to use and super helpful. Um, there's a bunch of free apps and stuff like that. Like you can just find for free. That'll help you grow your channel a lot and just makes it super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope these tips helped you out if you guys are trying to grow. Because these are definitely stuff I would have liked to know before we started because it'll just make your channel grow so much quicker. And if you know this now, I definitely recommend, if you, even if you didn't think about making a channel before, it's something super fun and you can share your clips. All I use to screen record my clips are, is just the Apple screen recording, and it works super well. I definitely recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed, though, and make sure you watch all the way through. I'm out. Peace.